Chest x-rays are one of the most commonly performed and important imaging investigations used in hospital patients. But their ability to enable us to make confident and accurate diagnoses rest heavily upon the quality of the images that they present to us. So how can we analyse whether a chest x-ray is good quality so that we can trust any impression that we make that's based upon it? Well, at the end of this video, you should be far more confident in knowing the key things to look for in all good quality chest x-rays. The first thing to look for is whether the lungs are adequately inflated and that we're able to visualize the maximum amount of lung tissue. In an adequately inflated chest, either the fifth, sixth, or seventh anterior ribs should cross the diaphragm along the midclavicular line. So in this case, we can say that the chest is adequately inflated. We next want to check to see if the x-ray is rotated. To do this, we identify the spinous processes of the vertebrae and also the two heads of the clavicles. In a non-rotated chest x-ray, the spinous processes should sit neatly between the two clavicular heads. And here we can see that this is the case in our image. So we can say that our image isn't rotated. Lastly, we want to check to see if the image is under or over penetrated. Essentially, penetration refers to the degree that the X-ray beams have passed through the body. So, if the general penetration of the X-ray is less than necessary, it can lead to a poorly exposed image, in which we have significant loss of detail. Now, with modern digital X-ray machines, this is definitely much less of an issue than it used to be, but it's still really important to check. In a well-penetrated image, the vertebral column should be visible just behind the heart, which as you can see, is definitely the case in our image. So all in all, we can say that we're very happy with the quality of this image.